Okay, so uh, on your tongs, you had pin dropping issues, and you've already uh, tightened the press nuts, so you know that that's not your issue, but you still seem to have some drops, and you're just trying to get a little bit more strength into your tongs. Uh, be sure that you do clean your dampers. You have to clean those off. Make sure your dampers are positioned right with your wider ends out towards the tips here. Uh, but I'm going to show you another tip that can probably help you out in making your getting a little bit of the play out of your tongs here. Just getting that little bit of spread at the end out. This is not really a bad set right here. I'd still consider this a good set. I wouldn't do this to all your tongs until you get to this point to where you're trying to get that extra little bit out of them. Alright, uh, so the issue we have is, because uh, we've already done the press nuts, so those are all secure. The only other place that you get a little bit more play here is right in these two joints. Bring them up here, right in the two joints of these elbows here. So the way that I have done and fixed that, take these out, take the uh, shaft out. Go ahead and put something down here so I can extract them. There went that. Pop them out. Sorry, the table I'm working on wasn't really secure. Alright, and then I'm going to go ahead and clean any excess oil and grease out of those joints. Because what you're getting here is uh, this part here, it acts like it's, a, a, it's a, a grip. When that grip gets weak, it starts to expand out. And uh, my, my wrist is going to represent this shaft right here. Well, I haven't tried heating these to bend it tighter. And I just, the, my best way I figured was I need to make what is basically my wrist, since this is thicker and it's getting play like this, I decided I need to thicken what would be the axle. The way I found to do that, and I have done this on our facilities, is it's cleaned off. Take you some electrical tape, cut you about a three inch piece. I wouldn't recommend tearing it, because when you tear it, you're, you're gonna compromise the adhesive as well as the, the, the regular uniformity of the tape itself. So I've got a, you know roughly a three inch piece, and I'm gonna stick it through the middle, I'm going to stick it up through the bottom, and then I'm just going to bend it over with my thumb and touch it onto the top of that shaft there. Now I'm going to bring it around, being very careful not to stick it on the shaft till I get it all the way through and tight to where I want it to be. Just like so. So now I've basically thickened the shaft up so it's going to, when it snaps in there, it's going to have a lot tighter fit. Got my second piece here. I'll show you that. Bring it up through the bottom. Making sure not to stick it to the shaft. Easy. Bring it over the top. Trying to get it as square as I can when I adhere it so that it will wrap evenly around. I don't want it to wrap at an angle. Tuck it back through. Keep bringing it around. Use a knife here. Get that last little bit in. So basically I have just widened my shaft to make a tighter fit. I'm going to go ahead and snap these back in. sure they're facing the same way I'm just going to put now I'm gonna put on a flat surface see if I can do it with my other hand and I'm gonna press down on the on the actual the connection part so it'll kick the arm up in the air and then I'm gonna push down on the arm itself and pop it into place snaps right in there we go there's arm number one same thing arm number two line it up press down on the short section got my hand on top of here I'm gonna push downward force here and keep keep downward pressure on my wrist on the table 
I've snapped both of them in. Let me get my retainer here. Slide it back in. Now I have really beefed up the strength on these joints right here. Now you, one thing it does do is it doesn't, now they don't flop as easily. If a pin does hit it, it will go up in the air. But it can kick these off as well. If a pin hits it wrong, it will be sticking in the air. All you got to do is get out there on that pin setter table and push it back down. Be sure that when you install these on the table, if you do put tape into your bottoms, that when they're installed, that they're not kind of one kicked up a little. You got to pay attention to that. Push it down on the table flat. If not, you'll get the pins. When the scissors goes to grab them, it'll twist the pin head out and the pin will drop out through there. But it will make it a lot, a lot more rigidity in the system. Uh, I have done this on our facilities on multiple different pin setters and it seems to work fine. And I do, like I said, I wouldn't do this immediately because you're only doing these changes when you've had it in the system for quite a while and you're running out of options to strengthen up your your spotting tongs, your new style spotting tongs. Don't just do this on a brand new set of tongs. Let the tongs do the work they're designed to do. But once you start getting a lot of play in your system, this is just another way to get you a little bit more time out of what you purchased.